morning, brothers and sisters. I would like to share a word that the Lord gave to me on the 6th of May, 2017. But before I get into that, He also instructed me to read Amos down chapter 6 to chapter 9, which basically speaks of judgment and um, what happens to the complacent and um, how God will judge Israel and then uh, bring it back into uh, a perfect state with the remnant. Um, this word was uh, an answer to prayers and queries that I had in May this year about the education of my children and um, why I was having a hard time uh, hearing from him and uh, and basically about disciplining my children because sometimes you have kids and you say if you don't do this you're gonna go on time out I'm gonna uh, remove something for you and this and that and it's just uh, the way sometimes you get children to do what they are meant to um, so I was just asking God about about that and how I should go about raising them and um, he gave me this word um, after I asked him these questions and the name of this message is Satan's Harvest Sarah you need to listen to me you are the one that has to seek me not the other way round the enemy is prowling and ready to throw his joker card on the game a game for him that will cost me billions of lives he has his harvest but that only happens when i take my hand of protection this only happens when people themselves request i go only by my spirit you will be able to survive what is to come upon the world. Recollect yourself and start sharing the messages I put in your heart to share. You must do it. No longer will your breath be wasted. All things in my book and the words I gave you will come to pass. Unfortunately, time is running short. And while this means time is short for the enemy, it also means time is short for people to repent. Don't threaten your children. Reason with them. My spirit is within them. They will listen. You are doing a good job, but you must set an example in helping others. I will give you many opportunities. Guard your house. The fallen are coming disguised but they will prepare the masses for full disclosure and will be accepted and by my two witnesses however won't be and by the hearts of those who reject them is that the enemy will gather people's hearts will be divided those for me will stand up for my word those for Satan will embrace the fallen and the mark of the beast that they have built in so many other generations before yours. Please focus. Don't lose threat. The fallen will appear after World War III, which is about to break out. My two witnesses are ready, waiting for my command. This war will lead to the fake peace, which will be disrupted by my two witnesses, and then after killing them, the fallen will fully reveal themselves. Demons will be visible. This is not the world of order I created. So this is the last manifestation ever to exist. And I only will allow it to happen because in the last generation, yours, is that my light will easily shine forth. And this will be a physical 
manifestation of a forever journey. Um, to me, um, this word, word is very powerful. Uh, I really feel moved to share with you guys. It has um, a lot of um, personal things, like in uh, you know, in regards to educating children about reasoning with them inst instead of threatening them uh, with, for example, removing things to get them to do something. And um, yes, yeah, so a lot of love from the Lord, and um, a warning that only by His Spirit is that people will be able to survive what is to come. And that, when the two witnesses break the faith peace, is when his followers who stand for the word of God will be hated. Because they will be seen as a nuisance to the peace that the wicked so um, longed so much. Anyway, please take this word to the Lord. And um, if there is anything you would like to share, a comment you would like to make, um, if you had a vision, a word, a dream, or whatever that could add to this um, word from the Lord, please do. And um, in Jesus' name, I ask that all of us be strong and do the right thing every day. And just wait for what else the Lord has to reveal to us on, on our job in these end times. God bless.